Here's how I took a simple $50 dresser off of Facebook Marketplace and turned it into my rolling workbench that doubles as a photography staging wall. This helps sell my furniture flips faster and for more profit. I started out with 5 inch caster wheels and you'll see why this wasn't a good idea later. I headed to the hardware store to get some 1x2s to build out the frame for the wall structure. Building a frame instead of a solid panel made it so that it's much more lightweight. To assemble the frame I used the same process that I used to build custom wood bases for dressers. I simply clamp on the Craig jig so that I could drill pocket holes and screw the pieces together. Once I had my frame assembled to the size of the panel boards, I went ahead and attached it to my dresser by propping it up on a 2x4. This left a nice little space between the floor and the wall so that I could freely roll it around on the caster wheels. For my wall panels, I used 4x8 shiplap and cut a bit off so that it would clear the ceiling of my garage. To secure the panel board to the frame, I borrowed a brad nailer to easily secure it to the frame without having big nail holes. I cut my second panel down to 3 feet wide just because I don't have that much space in the garage. And here's where I realized that I messed up with those tall 5 inch caster wheels because it made the center of gravity way too high and the whole structure was unstable like it could tip over from being top heavy. So of course I had to take the whole thing apart and start over practically. So if you're doing this project make sure to account for the height of the dresser that you have because mine was really tall to begin with. But once I swapped these wheels out for some small 2 inch caster wheels it made all the difference. I was able to push these ones all the way to the back of the dresser so that they could clear the wall structure. Whereas the big ones I had to put more towards the center of the dresser so they could freely swivel. I knew right away that this was going to be more sturdy and a better height for me to work on honestly. I ended up using the full 8 pack of wheels just to make sure it was extra sturdy. I reattached the wall once again and painted the panels in Swiss coffee by Bear. To make the most of this new wall structure, I hung some pegboard so that I could hang some lightweight tools. I wouldn't recommend hanging anything super heavy on this, but it was great for hanging things like my tape measure and my speed square that I'm using constantly. So now I have a super accessible workstation on one side and I can pull out my photo staging wall whenever I need it. If you notice that there's a third panel on my wall that makes it into a corner, this is so I can get more angles. I just built an additional frame so that I could move it around. This one's also nice to have so that I don't have weird reflections in the glass when I'm taking photos of cabinets. I really believe that good photos help to sell your products online for quicker and for a higher profit because if you think about it, because you're going to get way more clicks on a bright and pretty picture that helps people imagine what the piece of furniture might look like in their own home. So hopefully this inspired you to take your photo staging more seriously. And if you enjoy watching before and after furniture flips, be sure to follow along. I have this arch display cabinet coming up next that I can't wait for.